also in a, a last I, I could say last 10 years I also been on my uh, beginning and uh, of course that uh, every story was uh, really uh, important for me to get some example yeah. uh, and to to try to avoid mistakes you know in in that journey so every experience is a uh, good uh, experience and you know that uh, in my country the people like to say like uh, if you are enough smart uh, you will learn from others yeah. from their experience not from <laughs> Not yeah. from your mistakes. <laughs> Start right. something like that. Yeah. Uh, so, then, yeah. I yeah. You're right. Because, like, it's everyone's got a different pathway. Everyone has those different sure. kind of, whether it's like you're coaching different age groups, different genres, different countries. Oh, he's still there. Oops. Oh, you're back again. Something. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I got some call, but <laughs> not, nothing, nothing, nothing special. <laughs> But yeah, you're, you're, yeah, so, you're yeah. so right. Everyone's got a different pathway, you know, whether it's sure. you're different ages or different countries or different genres even. But yeah, I think you learn from other people, you know, feedback's really good. But yeah, just see how things go, but you still make your own way at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. I agree. So mm. yeah, I can st start from, from my early beginnings. Uh, so after my um, uh, high school, you know, I was player in my uh, in my hometown in a local club. It was a third uh, division club, and I played for a youth team. Yeah. But you know, when I realized that I maybe I cannot play professionally immediately, you know, because I was infected by football, and uh, I saw myself uh, as a professional in in a football uh, on a player position or coach. So after that, after uh, that, uh, I was uh, eight. 19, 19 years old and I decided to go on a faculty of sport and physical education to, to get knowledge how I can become the coach mm. and of course uh, I started immediately after high school with that with education and uh, after two or three years I started as a coach in one uh, private football club youth club with the kids like you know under 12 under 10 under 8 so it was my my beginning, and uh, uh, after that also I decided to 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 go on a, f a football association of Serbia to to, to get um, UEFA B license. It was my first first badge. Yes, and um, in the same time I I've, I've been on uh, that processing of education, and also I. I started as a coach for sure that it's very important to to start doesn't matter position it doesn't matter club you you have to, to try it to feel it that is uh, for you and uh, or not and I was completely sure that yeah this is my my way my my direction and uh, I wanted to to, to 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 move on going to step by step but you know after uh, one year in that private football school, um, you know, I that kids was they were okay, you know, level of okay, but I was thinking that I should go somewhere where is a professional environment, you know, to to, to go with some uh, bigger club and doesn't matter uh, um, about position in the club, maybe just to be assistant, but to get knowledge, it, it is very important from uh, older colleagues uh, who has more experience than me, and it was my my next step in my coaching uh, career so I, I went in on I, I luckily I got one opportunity to go in one of the best clubs in a, in a Serbia and one of the best clubs uh, one of the best academies yeah. in uh, maybe in Europe because FC Partizan uh, produced many players many good players in um, Europe and uh, of course it was my my decision to go there and uh, it was really, 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 really how to say, a great experience for me, and it was on my beginning. And uh, I, I shared field, let's say, with, with some football uh, legends of the club. So every day I, I could hear something new, so something new, and experience, and of course, immediately writing down in my in my notebook. So it was really, really important. But also after uh, 
one year or maybe more than one year, one year and six months, something like that. You know, I've been assistant, but now I decided I want to be head coach. Yeah. So to lead, to lead one uh, team. And uh, also I, I went to the one uh, also football uh, youth club. I've been a uh, uh, coach of under 12, under 12 and under 10. And it was um, also, you know, next step next step in my coaching so everything what i learned and and uh, what i saw in a, in a football academy of uh, partisan football academy you know i now i wanted to implement that to try to see how, how it works mm -hmm. of course uh, always is uh, every club is different you know for example mm -hmm. in uh, in in my uh, in uh, in a club in a fc partisan you have uh, talented boys talented players almost on every position and on a different clubs on lower leagues you you, <laughs> you you don't have such a talented players on every position so yeah it was different and you have to adapt and uh, stuff like that it, 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 it was my next step then uh, after after uh, next year after that I got opportunity to to lead one uh, senior first team um, in a lower league in in a football association of Belgrade, so you know I, uh, it was a challenge for uh, for me even if it's a low league you know but uh, to be head coach of the senior players was really how to say good opportunity to improve myself and to to do more things on tactical tactical um, aspects you know it is interesting for, for us more than you know. Uh, because I have to say uh, my uh, my football uh, vision, I I I can uh, I want to be head coach of the first team. So this is my direction. So and the that uh, opportunity to be head coach even in in that lower league, it was good and uh, very important uh, experience for me. Also, I've been there like one year and or almost two two years or almost then. Great, uh, great experience with the older, uh, with the um, adults. You know now, different, uh, completely different approach when uh, in comparison with the kids. Mm. So it was also also important part of of the, my journey. <laughs> mm. And uh, after that, I got opportunity again to to go in a youth uh, department in a uh, one club under thirteen uh, team. For, uh, FC Radnički or is from uh, one city yeah. close to the Belgrade but the league was really uh, really good it, it was like elite league for that age okay. and you know and uh, I, I was thinking okay now it's uh, time for new challenge you know to, to go to play with uh, the best clubs in, in the in, in the Serbia played against uh, FC Partizan uh, FC Red Star and the clubs uh, clubs like that so you know uh, it was a challenge for me even with under 13 but yeah i went there and uh, i had one season there uh, it was also important good experience for for myself uh, i played with the best teams yeah. in 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 the Ser serbia and i i saw what what means um, a talented player how to play against them how to develop uh, the youth players also really really important part of my career and then uh, i went in a in a next club in a belgrade that was a club uh, fc 011 that club uh, that club was one of the i could say one of the best clubs in belgrade if we are talking about youth yeah. if, if we are talking about youth development and uh, i also i i've been there one season and I was working uh, with uh, different ages, under 17, under 16, under 14, under 13. And we had in that mo moment some talented players in, in our club. Now they're playing in uh, elite clubs in, in, in the Serbia and they you know that ex experience to participate in um, development of, of the very really talented players was really good experience for, for, for me. And uh, I learned there a lot, a lot. And um, of course, I, I've been there with a di different age, uh, something like uh, assistant coach. Mm. And um, all, again, I felt that I want to be head coach. And uh, I went uh, in, in, a, in a club in a, a, a FC Basque. 
and I got opportunity to lead the team in the also in the elite league, elite league. But but now with under 16, ah. so football, football 11. You know, it was really really challenge again, and I accepted that. And uh, I've been there one season also. Uh, it was really interesting for me. Also, again, uh, playing with the, the, the best teams uh, in the S Serbia. No, maybe not with all the best, but because uh, Belgrade League, elite Belgrade League is one of the best leagues in, in uh, Serbia. So it was massive um, challenge again, uh, playing with against the best teams. And uh, yeah, also I participated in... in development of, of a few talented players and now they are playing in a, maybe in a second second division or third division nothing uh, nothing um, extra but they are good players they are good players and uh, I, I had a really good opportunity to to develop myself and uh, yeah and after that because you know in uh, that club he had some uh, financial problems and I got an opportunity from China. And now I'm almost four four years in a in a China. <laughs> I started uh, in a uh, China as a head coach in a in a football uh, football project in a schools, you know. And uh, first, I, I uh, on my beginning uh, here, I've been like football teacher, <laughs> you know, uh, to, to to I. I coached the um, kids like under 10, under 8 in a, in a school. But also I had op uh, opportunity in the same time to be a lecturer and uh, assistant in education of Chinese youth coaches with, with, with one um, really good coach from Serbia, Mr. Koković. He is one of the best youth coaches in uh, Serbia and also he, he, he had extraordinary uh, projects here in, in in China, so it was a really great experience to to be with him, to share with him knowledge almost uh, every every single day, yeah. and uh, that that was my beginning on on uh, in China, yeah. and the next season I got the opportunity to be technical director of uh, uh, district, and uh, also I I've been in in charge to to lead the coaching team. And uh, with uh, under 17 teams, under 15, under 13, under 11, under 9. So I, I, it, it was really good, to, uh, how to say, nice experience and um, some new challenge in, in my uh, my coaching. And also I, uh, I was thinking like, okay, uh, always I wanted to be head coach. But now on a technical director uh, position, I also felt that is also... You know, uh, for sure that is um, when you're a uh, head coach, uh, your challenge is to achieve results every single match. You 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 have to win, but also for, for me is is great uh, if you if if you if if you are participating in development of the football player. So if you if you have one boy like under seven or under uh, eight if he's talented, if 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 you are with him every day, if you're trying to help him. To develop uh, his uh, football skills, and one day, if he is a professional football player, is also a great achievement for myself. So that's also how to say the position of technical or manager of the academy is also for me mm. nice and uh, good, good, uh, good uh, a challenge, you know. And uh, after that, also I've been head coach of under 17s here in in a uh, in a uh, Shanghai in a. Uh, in the same football academy yeah. and after that last my p position there was a university team university team also yeah. and uh, we uh, that team was uh, one of the best uh, in shanghai we played one uh, university tournament and we we we, we won yeah. so yeah that my Journey in the last uh, in the last ten or eleven years. I, I'm not sure. So, I, mean, I think eleven years. So yeah. And, and now, I'm in 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 the same academy, you know. But now I am in in a charge with the under thirteen school team. Yeah. This is a, you know we had some plan uh, to to start again with under seventeen. But you know because of this uh, situation this year, you know everything is everything is un unpredictable. Yeah. 
and uh, some uh, some schools in a uh, in a Shanghai they have different uh, rules. So in, in in one place where we want to to start trainings with under uh, 17 days, they don't have still they don't have permit for that because you know because of virus situation and uh, it's a little bit slowed. But this is a situation and. Uh, we uh, we cannot uh, change that. We, we we just hope that everything will be fine. Exactly. That's yeah. that's it. <laughs> you're you're right because you're it's it's around the whole world. So everyone, if you can play, it's a bonus. If you can have fans, it's amazing. You know, but there's a yes. whole bunch of countries that you can't do both of those. And so if you can do that, then great. But you're right. Who knows? It's very unpredictable. And yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's almost sure. like if you look back at your last ten or eleven years, and like you sh you've talked about so <clears> many <throat> really amazing roles. You know, different age groups. Um, yes. Senior yeah. to youth. You know, working in some of the the top um, academies in Serbia, um, and then obviously heading over into China. You know, ten years um, to some people might be kind of a long time. But actually, 10 years isn't that long time at the same time. And so have you found that, yes. um, you know, you've had so much really good experience and um, that, you know, the, the first 10 years has been this, you know, what does the next 10 years bring? You know, is it going to be like finding those roles or just kind of as the years go on, you know, going, actually, now I, I want to be head coach or now I'm OK with doing it. And you're kind of just going with what what's mm -hmm. happened at the time or your experience or even just opportunities. I suppose it's hard to kind of plan out the next 10 years, especially with what's going on in the world now, but just all, all of a sudden just making sure there's opportunities there, like the Serbia to China route, you know, yeah, that, yeah. That probably wasn't an option a year before. So, you know, you just don't know, I suppose. Yeah, yeah you know, that is uh, really difficult to say uh, what will be tomorrow, you know, yeah. especially now uh, after uh, last year really <laughs> you cannot say anything because uh, i i had the different plans uh, uh one year ago really different plans and I, I was thinking that i will i will go in some different direction but uh, you know not now i realize that uh, that the plan like uh, three months it, it's quite enough <laughs> three, three three or four months and it it it, it, uh, it is uh, completely enough yeah i think uh, yeah you know i i can uh, i told you that the i i see m m myself in, in some professional club as a yeah. as, as a head coach or assistant coach for beginning and maybe the reality is that uh First, my role would be assistant coaching in some professional uh, club. That that is uh, something that is a real option, and I would like to to to, to start my uh, senior professional coaching on that way because uh, maybe uh, I'm not still ready. Even if you ask me uh, tomorrow. Uh, if uh, do you want to take uh, first team or I don't know in a second division in uh, in China or um, first division in uh, I don't know Thailand, yeah. I would accept. Yeah. I'm not afraid of of the challenge. Yeah. That's that's for sure because if you are a coach, you have to be ready for challenges yes. every time. Yes. And if you get in, if you get some opportunity, you have to take it. Especially yeah. uh, you know, it's a different when you are ex-professional football player that's different when you're a player you have name and uh, you will get easily more opportunities yeah. when you're um, a coach without experience uh, as a football player uh, no big name uh, mm -hmm. so you have to to be ready to take any challenge in your life and uh, that that's my way so you know i'm Thinking uh, on one way, I'm with the youth now, and uh, my approach is completely professional for that department. Yeah. Uh, my real, uh, how to say, my reality is that maybe I uh, the best option is for me to be assistant of the first team to be, or maybe video analyst or stuff like that. Mm. And uh, but any opportunity to be head coach of any team. I would accept and I would consider it uh, for sure. <laughs> so what, just you know, just what, working and waiting. What do you find like so like being a head coach? Like 
what does attract you to be like a head coach compared to like an assistant coach? Like what are the certain things that you like, you really look forward to being a head coach rather than assistants? Like what, what are the kind of those things that really kind of go, yes, that's, I love being a head coach because of this. You know, that's a, uh, how to say very difficult to explain that passion. You know, when I was a head coach in, in a low league, when I was coach uh, on the under 12s or under 15, or that doesn't matter. Yeah. When you are on 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 a sideline, yeah. this is a, some some passion, and you cannot uh, describe that. I I can just feel that. For example, when I was youth player, and of course uh, after scoring the goal, you are you are full of adrenaline, and then you are so excited and. Uh, you cannot describe that feelings uh, when you're sc- uh, shooting and, uh, on a goal and when you're scoring. Also, I felt the same, that energy as a football player, mm. also on, on position of, of the coach. Mm. So that is a, how to say, challenge. And, uh, you know, very difficult to, <laughs> to yeah. explain that passion. Yeah. Probably, you know, uh, how it looks and and, and the, the, you know this is a f- football for, for me the football is magic game mm. and uh, when you are when you're on on the match although you are like on some special uh, uh, to another planet mm. you are enjoying there you are focused on on, on, on the your team on opponents and that uh, that's a uh, challenge that, that that you are trying to find the way yeah. how to, to stop the opponents and how to attack them how to score that is a uh, that is game you know enjoying in a game and uh, i think that is is not uh, f- uh, how to say it's not full and uh, if if you're just assistant because when you're assistant of course that is also challenge and that is also a great experience for sure especially in the professional clubs yeah. but to that to make that uh, decision as a head coach this is a challenge for me and uh, this is my my uh, how to say this is my target mm. this is my target in 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 in, in my coaching uh, ambitions yeah yeah i think you're right i think it is very hard to put words into passion because you you kind of get wrapped up in emotion especially yeah when you're in a game environment and a situation has happened and you have got not that much time to think about a response or something to tell your players or you uh-huh. know it's almost like a spur of the moment a natural thing that comes yes yes and yet it's hard to go how did that get into my head and why did i say it because it's yes. just in the moment and maybe it's from experience maybe it's from you know talking to other coaches but especially being a head coach it, the, the buck stops with you so you might say the right thing you might say the wrong thing but you might learn from it and you might reflect from it you know the game sure. after, the day sure. after but in the sure. moment something has to be said sure. and I think you're right i think that's a good challenge sure. for coaches for us to sure. be confident sure. about yourself um you know and, and again it might not be the right thing but if you communicate it in in the right way it could it could affect your players to go and play better or change their way or whatever it is and so i think um yeah, you're right it is hard to hard to put in place and i think some coaches might overdo it you know they might overthink it or they might you know get too tactical when you don't need to it might just be a real simple um talk to a player about how to receive a ball or talk to a player to move in a certain space but if you go too complicated you, the message might lose it completely um and so yeah as a coach i suppose you've just got to grapple with that and go well how far do i go with this how simple could I go with it? But I need to do something. And whatever that something is, it will pop into your head and you, you'll know it. <laughs> it's kind of weird. And so you've obviously gone from like a European country, a European culture, mm-hmm. Serbia, you know, football is a religion in Serbia. It's, it's really- yeah, sure, for sure, for and sure. To China, where my perception of Chinese football is, it's not so much the support. Obviously there's lots of people that play the sport, but it's not the number one thing to play. And there's lots of other factors um, that Chinese kids go through, like whether it's education is probably more important than playing sport or all those other things. Yes. So how have you found yes. like trying to adapt to that, but bring in your European um, um, culture and your experience to try and get the best out of the Chinese kids? Like how have you found that, the, the, the culture divide? 
Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, oh, uh, for sure. Uh, that basically, I think that that, that f- football is magic game everywhere. The, the kids they like to play on every corner of the world. I think that is magic, you know. I just throw yeah. the ball and yeah. make two goals, and they yeah. will they would play without problem, even in China, even in uh, South Africa, Serbia, doesn't matter, New Zealand, uh, everywhere. Kids yeah. like to play football. Yeah. The, the, the biggest problem is organization and the, the, the how to say, the, the targets of the football association of the China or football association of Shanghai. Or, so that targets are most important. What do you want to achieve? Uh, do you want to to develop players or to 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 give them to play football just like a tool, you know, to, for 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 their physical education, and uh, or maybe to to make some achievements or some results. Mm. And uh, what is important to to, to know in youth, uh, results are not important. Yeah. The most important is development, and first of all, in that. Development it, it's not just about football development. It's also personal development and, and uh, you know many t- things like uh, to to learn the the kids about fair play, about social values and uh, uh, stuff like that. So uh, hmm. so in China when I when I came here I saw that that, that that kids like to play football, that they have certain number of talented players. Almost that their a level that they could play uh, in every club in a Europe. Some of them, of course, not many, yeah. not many, but of course, the the biggest problem is is that here is uh, education is a priority, and of course I agree with that. That education is a very important part of the of their lives. Also, in my country, your country is also important. But uh, to, to find that time, that is biggest problem. This is biggest challenge here because uh, the kids almost they don't have time for sports. Yeah, they don't have time. So that is uh, this is uh, something that is biggest uh, biggest problem here. So in that uh, circumstances, we we tried to to find the best way, you know and. But it's it's not easy. It's not easy, and uh, also the problem is that they don't have a lot of clubs. Okay. As in in my country, you have club almost on every corner. Yes. Of the country, and after schools, you're going to the club, and you have uh, how to say also, also in uh, Serbia you are busy. Mm. The kids are busy. They don't have time uh, as before. For example, when I was kid like 20 or 25 years ago we had in time <laughs> like every day four or five hours you you can spend on the football ground yeah. but uh, nowadays uh, the, this is a global problem uh, so yeah that, that that is the biggest problem here no enough clubs and not enough time yeah for football activities yeah it's it's really interesting you should say that because it's almost it is it's the opposite in European countries or yeah. even here in New Zealand that they it's almost like people play football too much. There's lots of debate. Mm-hmm. Well, especially at that youth level, is if a player yes. is in every night, you know, maybe at lunch times, mornings, then they could get overworked and then injuries potentially happen. And and it's mm-hmm. in China, it's the complete opposite. You're trying to find more yeah. time. Play. Yes, and so yes. it must be really interesting to go from that environment to that environment. Yes, and yes, sure. even more so when you've got the kids, you've only got them for a finite of time. You've really got to make the most of that time because you know you might not get them yes. again for a period. Yes, yes, yes. You know, also I think that, for example, uh, that time uh, time difference between, uh, for example, Europe or China. It's completely different because when you time for Champions League match, yeah, you cannot watch here because it is like three, three in in the morning. <laughs> so if if you are a kid, you would not to get up in a three in the morning and to go in a, in a school in the morning in a six. So because of that, it's very uh, difficult to to spread that passion for football. 
mm-hmm. I think that is also one of the biggest problems. And their league is, uh, how to say, it's, it, it's, it's not so interesting like Premier League, like Champions League, like Serie A or Primera División from, from Spain. So this is maybe one of the uh, problems mm-hmm. uh, that, uh, that uh, they are not affected by f- football. Yeah, and all. 